Hey everyone, hey it's Diane Tan. We're gonna be planting some moss roses today from seed. The seed that I saved is probably a few years old. I'm pretty sure it's still gonna germinate. Let's get started. So this moss rose seed is 2018. It's very tiny seed and they like light for germination. So I'm just going to put a few in there. I'm not going to do a ton because they, I'm pretty sure they're going to all grow a lot of the majority of them. The next thing is since they're so fine, I'll put some sand with them. Just mix it up real good. This will be easier to scatter into your flats. Set that aside. Let's fill our tray. And I just do these in mass planting because what I do when I grow these out, I just take a clump and put them in the ground several plants at a time and it works really well. I always like to wet my flats down. I don't always get it done but it works nice. As you can see the sand and seeds right there. And I just take and scatter. See how they do. Don't worry if you're not getting every section. And you can put it, do this in a tray, you can do it in pots, you can do it in cells, those little six pack cells, anything you, you know, can grow in. Pretty much all I do. And then I will just give it a very light coating of some soil, which I use the peat and perlite, which is a pro mix. Good enough. Water it in again. And since they like light for germination, I just put a saran wrap over it like so. This works good for me. And it's just going to go under lights. I'm just going to leave the lights on until they germinate. Now I could put it on a heating mat and have a light over it. But I don't have that set up that way. So I'm just going to put them under the lights just like this with no heat. It's probably going to take a little bit longer but we'll see how long it takes. So there they are sitting under lights, shop lights. My bulbs are 40 watt, 4 foot bulbs, 3000 lumens. They work just fine for indoor growing. In long term they wouldn't be as good but for the little bit of time I have them indoors and then transplant them outside, it's enough time. April 21st, the moss rose is up. It's actually been up for a couple days. Look at them little babies. You see them? I have a ton of them. So when I plant them, I'll be planting them in a bunch at a time. I'll just grab a handful out and plant them. April 28th, update on the moss roses. They have grown a bunch and they have gotten a lot greener, haven't they? Won't be long and I'm going to be transplanting these in, in a six pack with several plants together in one six pack. So they will be fun to do. There's going to be a lot of them and I just love them. May 8th update on the moss roses. They're growing aren't they? It doesn't take them long to grow. We're going to transplant a few today. I'll show you how I do it. I already put, transplanted a few probably three, four, five days ago and this is how they are. I just put them in a big clump, three or four or five of them together and plant them. Okay, prep your six packs or your pots, whatever you're using. I just like to water them down, let them soak in a little bit, and then we'll get started. Now, you may not like my method, but it works. If it works, then what more can you say, right? So you can see all these here, right? Here's how I do these moss rows because they're really easy to pull out and transplant. So what I do, I'm just going to take a little three to f three or four or five this is what I do and this works. Set them right down in the six pack like so. I'll grab a few more. I like to look for the bigger ones. There's going to be way more than I need. Way more. So when I plant these they're going to be really nice and thick. Set them right down in like so. I'll grab a little bunch. Once in a while you'll get one that's really tiny but that it'll grow. So you had to do, I just pull them up. They pull up really easy. Doesn't seem to hurt them at all. 
and just set them right down in the soil. I'm going to add a couple more to each one of them since I have so many. And I will post a picture on this video too of some I've done in the past. Is the same seed, okay? Because I saved the seed. Yes, I could spread them out, but I like a little clump, a little clump of plant. These will work just fine. I've always grown with putting several together. So you get the idea. So I'm going to finish here. And I'll hopefully can show you when they start blooming again how they're doing in the garden. I don't think I'll put them in the ground because what I find out is in when you put them in the in the ground weeds is so much competition with weeds and it's so hard to keep them clean so they're probably going to go in some pots or contain some sort of containers it'll be a much easier to uh, be able to maintenance the weeds a little bit of weeds that will form in the pots well that's what I found out and the thing about these is they do self seed you'll have them everywhere and some people like that some people don't you have to make up your mind what you want to do but they're so pretty this will be a mix of colors so let me get finished and we'll come back transplanted these on May 6th and it's the 9th today so you can see that they're coming along okay they're doing fine and they just grow so nice so easy these are a little more dainty so you you know it might not be fun for you to plant but I find it really easy they pull out so easy guys and gals so if you want something that self seeds you can save the seed or it self seeds. We'll come back for you next year. You can put them in pots or the ground. The ground's a little more iffy because you're going to have a lot of weeds growing amongst them. So you'll have to kind of watch that. But if you space them far enough apart, you'll probably be fine. So that's pretty much it. That's what they look like. I like to water them in real nice. And then let them sit lights tomorrow this is what I got left several I could probably the next flat I'm going to do another flat like this and just finish them off hopefully we can get you to see what I do with them in the garden very soon May 18th update on the moss roses they're coming along pretty nice they're starting to really starting to take off on their growth where I will plant these will probably be maybe in pots in the ground. I just don't know yet, but stay, stick with me because we're going to be planting these in the garden. I'll probably be taking some of these out in the greenhouse this week as we are starting to warm up this week. You may have seen this on my other video, but I wanted to give you an update and look how nice the moss roses are coming into this pot. Very nice along the edging. I make a really nice edging plant and just just think of <laughs> and just think of all the different colors amongst the blue salvia we'll see how that looks definitely will be an update later I still have a flat to put out just haven't decided what I wanted to do because if I put them in the ground they'll be fine but then there's a ton of weeding if I put them in containers, I'll have a little more control of them. But look how much they've grown. They'll be blooming here soon. And they look nice. It's just a really pretty succulent. Some of these that have gotten taller, I'll just pinch them back, cut them back. Sometimes I'll just root these again, throw them in some soil, and they'll root. So there's things you can do, especially if you want more plants. I really don't need them, so, you know, but it's, it's an option for you. But they're looking really good. I'm just going to have to decide where I want to put them. These are just about ready to bloom. See the buds right here. But look how full those are. 
I don't know, but I just love anything like this. And these can handle the weather, so that'll be awesome. Got one blooming. First one. So I decided to put them in this old rim that I spray painted and I filled it up with some compost soil and then I just mass planted. We'll see how they do in here. It's going to face, they're going to get some west hot heat and then um, they're also going to cascade over which will probably put babies on the ground but then I can just hold them out next year. Just water in well, and that's about it. We'll see how they are in a couple weeks. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if, you, if this video has helped you today.